Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to estimate very large numbers as the product of a single digit number times a positive power of 10. Did you know the population of New York City is 8,623,000 and growing? The population of Boise, Idaho is 256,570. If someone asked you to recall such numbers, you would probably want to give them an estimate. We can estimate very large numbers pretty simply. For example, let's bring back the population of New York City. We can round up to the nearest power of 10, or 10 million. Remember, a power of 10 is just 10 to some power. Here are some examples. Notice that the power corresponds to the number of zeros in the number. We could say that New York City has approximately 10 million people. However, I think we could get a much closer estimate. I would say the population is really closer to 9 million. How could we write this to include one of these powers of 10? Well, 9 times 1 million is equal to 9 million. And we can rewrite 1 million as 10 to the 6th power. We can represent the population of New York City as 9 times 10 to the 6th power. Great! We've just represented the population using a single digit times a power of 10. Now, let's see if we can estimate the population of Boise, Idaho using a single digit number times a power of 10. Since we are working in the 100,000s, let's round to the nearest 100,000. Since there is a 5 to the right, we round up to 300,000. We can rewrite this as 3 time 100,000, or written using a power of 10, 3 times 10 to the 5th power. Estimate each number as the product of a single digit number times a power of 10. Okay, let's round A up to 4 million. We can write this as 4 times 1 million, or 4 times 10 to the 6th power. Part B is rounded down to 7,000. We write this as 7 times 1,000 or 7 times 10 to the third power. Lastly, part C can be rounded down to 50,000. We can write this as 5 times 10,000 or 5 times 10 to the fourth power. Fantastic! Mm -hmm.